wokeness or killing a fan theory. That will be the topic of this current video, because the next James Bond movie is set to have a new 007, and no, it is not James Bond. It is the lady that played uh, Carol's friend in Monica Rambeau, sorry, forgot the name, in Captain Marvel. That's, that's one of the movies she's been in, that's what people keep talking about her from. And she's going to be the new 007. And that kind of kills the fan theory, even though the movies themselves killed the fan theory all that, all those years ago. With uh, Pierce Brosnan's movies, as well as Daniel Craig's Skyfall, that said James Bond is not a code name, it is his actual name. Because this new agent will not be James Bond, or Jane Bond, or whatever the hell you want to call it. She is reportedly just 007. So apparently Bond is either retired, was fired, or quit. And this will, um, this will obviously be Craig's last film, and I highly doubt if they don't do it properly, or I don't, or I don't doubt that if they don't do this properly, the next film with her solo uh, 007 agent will be the last 007 film, unless they kill her off and have James come back and do a reboot, and they could do a reboot of Idris Elba. The, and have him be, play James Bond. Because that's, that's my only problem with him being cast as that. Was, okay, is it, will it be a reboot? Because Craig's storyline and the other one's storyline from... Uh, Sean Connery all the way to Priest Brosman said that that's all one guy. They just kept changing the actors because obviously Sean Connery couldn't do that movie when he was old. And then when Pierce Brosnan came, not Pierce Brosnan, when Daniel Craig came along, it was a brand new Bond. Casino Royale was the first of his missions. That was the first time this that Bond did anything. Well, he did a stuff before, obviously. But this Bond was not those other ones. The other ones was one Bond. This is a new one. And if they did Idris Elba, I would want it to be a third one because that fan theory about his name being a code name. I always hated. I always thought it was stupid. I always thought it was right there because it's in the books. If you ever read the James Bond books by Ian Fleming, that Bond is just a cocky little shit who gives everybody his name because he, he knows he's going to win. He's that cocky. He knows he's going to win. So why does he care if he gets out his name? Plus, he doesn't have any family. And that's always been Bond. So, the whole fan theory about how it's just a code name, that's not his real name, was stupid, and I was... I hate I hate most of Craig's films, like, I only like the first two. Which is funny, because everybody likes the last two, and I don't like those ones. But anyways, they were talking... But if they, they really love Skyfall so much, but yet, in Skyfall, it shows his parents' graves, with their last names both being Bond. If that's his code name, why well, would they go through all that hassle just to change his parents' gravestones? Doesn't make any sense. So that's what kills that stupid fan theory right off the bat. Hell, my fan theory fan theory about Big Bang Theory taking place in a psycho ward and it's all in Sheldon's head making more sense than, than the Bond being a code name. And that fan theory was just me going off the wall without 48 hours of sleep. I'll give them this one a chance, see what they're doing, because, hey, Bond's retired, okay? And... If they did a 007 film and they called it like 007 or something and it starred this woman, I might watch it. Like, same thing with the other films that have been given, like, a free ticket. And if I find it on the 17th, but I wouldn't waste my time going to see it in theaters. Because I just don't care about James Bond. I just don't care about 00s unless it's James Bond. It's like the new Kingsman film. I'm probably not going to want to watch it because I like Egg Z and he's not going to be in it. It's a prequel. Who cares? Comment down below, do you care about James Bond? Are you going to see Daniel Craig's last one? Are you excited for the new female agent? Even though it has been female agents before in the past, just look at Halle Berry and Pierce Brosnan's film. She was an agent. And obviously a female. As well as the Asian woman inside the Pierce Brosnan film. 
And there are probably female ones and other ones, but in all honesty, I've only ever really actually seen the Pierce Brosnan and Daniel Craig Bond films. I have all the other ones because I found them at Goodwill, I just never wanted to put them in. Because they're, spo they're supposed to be like really cheesy or corny, apparently. And I don't really care for those. And apparently in this version, Bond is still the womanizing and everything he's supposed to be because that's why he's but he's retired so you know he's a crotchety old man who's retired kind of like Luke in The Last Jedi uh, he's the crotchety old man that wants to be left alone and drink his milk like dislike comment down below say whatever you want if I don't like it I'll delete it subscribe unsubscribe and hey as always have a good one And good luck to the new girl. Cause hey, why not? Oh, and would you be? If you're in the same camp as me. Would you? Would you? You wouldn't mind? Would you mind a Idris Elba playing James Bond if it was a confirmed reboot? Like it's not like continuation of this story. It's like if they made Black Superman, I wouldn't want it to be in the same universe as Henry Cavill's Superman because we've already seen Superman and he's that guy. This new person you hire doesn't even look like him. That'd be like casting Muggsy Bogus to play LeBron James. Although they are the same skin color, it's just Muggsy Bogus is really tiny and LeBron James is really tall. Or... Let's go to the one. Eddie Murphy to play Rain Man. Rain Man is a short little white guy. Because he's smaller than Tom Cruise. And... Eddie Murphy is a black guy who's a little bit who's taller than Tom Cruise. It wouldn't make wouldn't make sense unless it was a new Rain Man movie, and it's set in a new universe or an alternate universe. Like if they said that Idris Elba was coming back with a brand new James Bond, none of the old, none of the old characters or actors are returning. It's gonna be brand all new everything. I'd be excited as all hell. I love Idris Elba. He's a great actor. But if he's supposed to be playing the same guy that Daniel Craig plays, uh-uh. Get somebody that has at least the same skin tone and the same height, basically. It's like Pierce Brosnan. He may not look nothing like Sean Connery, but at least he's a white guy from Britain with black hair. As well as all the other Bonds. Except Craig was the first one that doesn't have blackish hair. All the other ones had blackish hair or dark brownish hair. And they were all white guys from Britain. So, okay, we can kind of see that. Okay, now have a good one.